guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting moving to episodes 9 and 10 of Koyomi Monogatari. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh god, you're finally giving me shit of okay. Ugh. I felt wondering, like, I thought Shinobu was gonna be one of the last two episodes. So then that's gotta... Mm. Then who the hell are gonna be the last two people? I don't know. It's gonna be somebody that's so obvious that I'm not thinking about it right now and then when I get to, like, the last two episodes, I'm gonna be like, oh, that makes complete sense. It is gonna be the last episode but best girl. It has to be. <laughs> ah. Are you going to share the donuts with her? <laughs> uh. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> there might be poison in the <laughs> Really, Shinobu? It's a <laughs> oh. <sighs> Unless you want like the donut hole part. Come here, Cody. Oh, those are so good. Or you can have agaragi taste it. I mean, I don't think poison will affect you, Shinbu. You're a vampire. Nothing really should affect you. You're not like the ones from Vampire Diaries or Twilight or anything. You'll be fine. Good. It must be good because you were loving the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't think you two ever really had interactions with each other. Oh. Oh my god. Shinobu, you're gonna eat all the donuts and he's not gonna have any. Those are strictly made by Senjahada, best girl, for her boyfriend. And this girl like, hmm, yes, I gotta taste all of them to make sure there is no poison in it. So you get two, and he get two. That means if it was like a dozen, if it was 12, you get six, he gets six. Never would I thought I'd see the day of these two fighting over some fucking donuts, but you never know. Yeah, she does eat all. There you go. Mm hmm. <laughs> Knowing you, yes, you would. All right, you know, you can just take the donuts, break them in half, and then share. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Could be under a pillow or something. Mm -hmm. Two are big, one medium, and one small. Makes sense. 
You can if you... Yeah. Kitty! Stop it. And no one knows. That love is important as fuck. Whistle. Now I want some fucking donuts. Yesterday I had a milkshake and that milkshake was really, really good. But now because of this episode I want some random donuts. But oh my god, like that was sweet. To have an episode focused on my third best girl was good. Thank you. Now just give me some donuts. But it was sweet that Sanjuhata made him donuts. I mean, yeah, he could have gone out and went to Mr. Donut and bought some donuts himself. But homemade donuts to me, and I can't really say this for everybody else, but for me, I think tastes a hell of a lot better because it's made with love and care and just time and everything. Rather when you go to like Dunkin' Donuts or like Krispy Kreme, um, it's there. You, it, It's already been made. Yeah, they put love into it, but it's just like, eh. But it also depends on what donut you get, because sometimes it can be really, really stale and hard, and I've had that in a donut before, and I'm like, uh. <laughs> the Dunkin' Donuts, in my opinion, is better than Krispy Kreme. I know there are some people who are out here like, no, Krispy Kreme is better! I've only had Krispy Kreme glazed donuts never really like I had some chocolate and some others but like to me they're glazed for Krispy Kreme especially when they make it and everything you know how like when you eat a glazed donut and it's like already hard as heck and you're like okay you don't want it to stick too too much okay at Krispy Kreme their glazed donuts are a little too wet I don't want wetness yet I want it to be nice Hard, crystallized, a perfect donut, nothing else right there. Not something that's going to make my hands <laughs> white. And having to be like, yep, let me wipe my hands off or let me just like my fingers off. I just, I think, and I know some people are like, no, I love that crap. And I'm over here, I'm like, no, nah, I'm not really into that. Like, mm -mm. when I bite into a glazed donut, I like to see the crystallization all around it because it's nice and it's pretty. It looks neat. It's basic. And then you go to Krispy Kreme and it's just like, what is this? <laughs> like, this is not a donut. So, I mean, because like, like I said, I haven't had Krispy Kreme donuts since Nebraska. And that was like a long, long time ago. Even though I think we have a Krispy Kreme here in Florida. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen them really. But like, if you go into a gas station or whatever, yeah, they got donuts. And their donuts are like, pff, mediocre. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, it's just Dunkin' Donuts will always be top tier. And I mean, I just love the fact that she made them for her. It's just so freaking cute and sweet and lovable and stuff. You want a girlfriend or a wife? Hell, I would love to have a boyfriend or a husband. That, you know, from time to time, either you make something for him or her, and so on and so forth. It's nice when someone makes something for you because that's their love. And how much they care for you and love you so much. And it's just like to reciprocate that action. For if Agaragi made something for Sanjahara. I mean, but I'm a little scared to get Agaragi in that kitchen or anything. Because 
who knows? I mean, yeah, he's good at cooking instant ramen in a bowl and stuff because everybody can do that because that's freaking easy. Unless, you know, you accidentally burn water. And, uh, you know, sometimes I wonder how people can do that. And they're, uh, uh, mm -hmm. not me, but I've met some people. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's not called Worst Cooks in America for a reason. I, you know, they need to make that, like, Worst Cooks worldwide just to see. I mean, but no, it's like that one TV show I watch on YouTube. Well, not really. It's like a 15-minute show where it's like, hey, how to separate an egg? And there are some people who do not know how to separate an egg. And I'm like, excuse me? Or how to cut and gut a fish. And I've learned that, and I, I was like, oh, okay. Never knew how to do that, but oh snap. Or how to grate uh, garlic or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> such a cute episode. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm actually going to make me one, like, ice cream or candy or something. I had ice cream yesterday, so. Just food. Seed. Okay. So on an okay, you just stand there. I think Dagaraki wants to deal with you today. Oh! looking for seed <laughs> he was just shocked of course Well, what, like I said, what exactly are you looking for? Mm-hmm. Funny. Uh -huh. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, reminding me of Starbucks reminds me. <laughs> Why are we? Oh, my dad's taking a mission. <laughs> My God, it's a witch! <laughs> oh God! Thank God that show's coming out tomorrow. Come here. Come here. Yes, this is definitely normal. It would just be so funny if somebody just walked by and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> there you go. Go lay down. I'm almost done. Or both at the same time. Yeah, but then how long is this going to take? It might even take all day into the next day. A smile. Mm, that makes sense, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, just to spend time with him. Techie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this episode was good but like let's talk about this next arc really going into maybe these last two episodes even though i'm doing that plus oh i didn't want to guys to season two because i still feel like because of the fact is because she brought it up in this episode because she's like how much time do you have left you know are you going to be able to you know finish your exams are you you know your results of that is that coming out first or are you going to die first like what the hell is going to happen are you going to be able to graduate so i'm guessing with Oh, what do you want to get to be season two? We're going to start maybe a couple of weeks or months before Agaragi, Hanakawa, Senjahara has to graduate. I think even Kambaru or Kambaru is even like a grade below them. Yeah, she's a grade below them. Um, and Senkoku is still going to be the situation that she was prior to this. I don't know. I mean, I'm a little... I'm a little worried because I'm still wondering how in the world that's going to go out and what is going to be truthful and what's going to be like something that I thought I was expecting and then in the end I didn't see it to become or foretold or whatever. But I mean, something tells me that, I don't know, he's going to be in this situation because I feel like, because she knows about it, so it would make the most sense for her to come and help, but I mean... I don't know if he could feel some certain type of way and be like, nah, I really don't feel like helping you this week. Cause, I mean, that's my best girl. <laughs> I love her because she's always some type of way. But the fact is that he didn't really do well on his like test exams. And it makes you wonder, like, with these next two episodes, if we're going to actually see, like, oh, hey, did you do a little bit better than you did the first time? Like, there's so many unanswered questions with that. And honestly, the fact is, we're not going to know. And then with Owani oh, Managatsuri season two, what could possibly go down? So then, like, probably by the time we get to Owani, you should be okay. But then the biggest thing is, because, like, and I'm going to say it again, going back to the season, the second season that focused on Kambaru and the girl who she was um, somewhat friends with, but it was also her, um, her friend of me in a way. Um, and when Kambaru and Agaragi had their conversation when he was in, um, they were in the car together. And that still kind of indicates to me, indicates to me 
that everything that I think is going to happen in A Water Money God City Season 2 honestly isn't really going to happen in the way that I want it to. He's not going to die. Sanjo Hada isn't going to die. Shinobu isn't going to die. No one's going to die. There's going to be something that's going to come up. Hell, maybe even Kaiki might show up. I know. I mean, it would be interesting if that con artist like showed up one last time before the show was done overall, even though I still, I think after Owadi, I think I got one more. I'm not 100% sure. But honestly, I'm not going to know until the week after I finish this going into season two. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes nine and ten of Koyomi Monogatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for the finale. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!